Mars is notoriously difficult to explore. 55 missions have attempted it so far, with only 25 succeeding. Still, humans are trying their best to discover the planet as soon as possible. But the question is why they want to explore the red planet by leaving such a beautiful planet like Earth? And most importantly, how? Why are humans so interested in exploring Mars? As we all know, Earth is our home, and it's the only planet with an atmosphere that supports life as we know it. However, with overpopulation and depletion of resources becoming pressing concerns, scientists started looking for an alternative place to sustain human life. For example, statistics show that Earth's current population is around 7.9 billion people, and it's expected to reach 10 billion by 2050. This rapid increase in population will continue to strain our resources and environment. This quest led us to Mars. Apart from being a potential location for human settlement, there are several other reasons why humans want to explore Mars. For instance, the red planet could have been an abode for living organisms or even a host for microbial life. Its atmosphere and geographical features are similar to Earth's, making it an ideal candidate for further exploration and possibly colonization. The information we've gathered about Mars over the past hundred years hints that this planet could have been a haven for life forms in the past. It's possible that even now, microorganisms might thrive there. Just beyond Earth, Mars claims the fourth spot in line from the Sun, although it's slightly over half the size of our planet and has a gravity of only 38% of Earth's, its rotation and orbit differ from ours. Mars's trip around the Sun takes more time than Earth's, yet it spins on its axis at nearly the same rate. This is why a Martian year amounts to 687 of our days, and a day on Mars outlasts an Earth day by 40 minutes. Technologies for Exploring NASA has already started working on technology for a manned mission to Mars, possibly in the 2030s. Many of these technologies will be tested on the Moon during the Artemis missions, while some are specially designed for deep space. Here are the technologies that NASA is developing to turn the dream of Mars exploration into reality. Artificial Intelligence and Automation in order to deal with the challenges of delayed communication and to make Mars operations more self-running, artificial intelligence and automation are critical. These cutting-edge technologies are critical in performing tasks like guiding movements, maintaining living spaces, and analyzing research data. Advancements in AI and automation are revolutionizing the way we approach space exploration. With sophisticated algorithms and machine learning, robots and rovers can now autonomously navigate through unknown terrain, collect data, and make decisions based on real-time information. For example, NASA's Mars 2020 Perseverance rover is equipped with advanced AI and computer vision systems to identify potential hazards and navigate them without human intervention. Also, the European Space Agency's ExoMars rover, launched in 2022, can drill into rocks autonomously and collect samples for analysis. Life Support Systems Mars is an unforgiving place with harsh conditions and extreme temperatures. The atmospheric pressure is very low, and there is no air fit for humans to breathe. Because of this, entities like space agencies and corporations will need to develop cutting-edge life support mechanisms if they want to keep astronauts alive for longer. This means creating systems that can repurpose air, water, and waste, and ensuring a livable, cozy space for astronauts to stay in. NASA's Deep Space Habitat, or DSH, can support four astronauts for up to 60 days with its advanced life support systems. Moreover, technologies like vertical farming and hydroponics allow us to grow crops in enclosed, controlled environments. This could be crucial for future Mars colonies, as it would help reduce dependence on Earth for food and ensure long-term sustainability. Radiation Protection the journey to Mars is long, spanning approximately 140 million miles, or 225 million kilometers. As astronauts venture further away from the safety of Earth's magnetic field, they are exposed to higher levels of cosmic radiation. In order to protect astronauts from this harmful radiation, several technologies are being developed. One such technology is the hydrogenated boron nitride nanotube material that can shield against cosmic rays and other forms of high-energy radiation. Another approach uses magnetic fields generated by superconducting magnets to deflect or trap charged particles. Other technologies like advanced spacesuits and radiation-tolerant materials are also being researched and developed to keep astronauts safe during their journey to Mars and the time they spend on the planet. 
nuclear rocket design. In today's time, space exploration is taking a new lease on life, with several organizations gearing up to send their crew to Mars shortly. The forthcoming decade is set to observe manned missions to Mars by global giants like NASA and China. It's likely other countries will join the race too. All these daring ventures of moving astronauts past the low Earth orbit and beyond the Earth-Moon system demand innovative technologies. Everything from survival elements and safeguards against radiation to power mechanisms and propulsion methods, nuclear thermal and nuclear electric propulsion tops the list of potential solutions. A while back, NASA revived its nuclear operations to craft a biomodal nuclear propulsion mechanism. This dual system combines NTP and NEP components that could pave the way for Mars journeys within 100 days. This innovative bimodal nuclear propulsion technology breed harnesses a wave rotor topping cycle. It could potentially slash Mars travel durations to a mere 45 days. What do these missions mean for the future of space exploration? The missions to Mars hold immense potential for the future of space exploration. Not only do they open up possibilities for further scientific discoveries and advancements, but they also pave the way for potential human colonization of other planets. This could lead to a multi-planetary existence for humanity, reducing our dependence on Earth and ensuring the survival of our species in case of any catastrophic events. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has expressed his vision of creating a self-sustaining city on Mars with a population of 1 million people in the next 50 to 100 years. This may seem far-fetched now, but with continued advancements in technology, and increasing interest from various organizations and countries, it may become a reality sooner than we think. The plan is to launch Artemis 3 towards the end of 2025. However, according to insiders at NASA, it's highly probable that we might have to wait until sometime in 2026. Predictions also suggest that private companies like SpaceX could beat NASA and become the first ones to send humans to Mars. Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure we are on the brink of a new era in space exploration, and Mars is just the beginning. As technology evolves and improves, our dreams of exploring other planets may finally become a reality. The possibilities are endless, and the future holds great potential for humanity as we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. So let's keep our eyes on the stars and be ready for the future. Let's continue to dream big and reach for the stars because there truly is no limit when it comes to space exploration. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment down your thoughts.